Ladies and gentlemen, in this video I am going to play the Magnus Carlsen's Gambit against below 1000 rated players. Well, before we just right dive in into the video, let me just tell you a little bit what it really means Magnus Carlsen's Gambit. So in order to make this happen, you need just to put your initial this F2 and C2 pounds to F3 and C3. And after that, quite interesting part, you have to take your king and then you need just bring back the D1. And literally you have to change your placement of your king and the queen. So like that way. And at the current position, that's what I mean. Your king got to D1 and your queen got to E1. Well, yeah, it takes around six other moves to make it happen. But let's just see how the beginners will deal with it okay guys i'm ready if you're ready let's go let's just challenge somebody with three minutes time control and boom here we got the opponent and well magnus started like this sort of gambit whether by c3 and f3 it's basically optional for you to start which one so i but i will start here f3 okay i think he's going for karakan and b5 all right i'll take my king well, the goal is to bring the king like that way. Well, sometimes the opponent might stop it, you know. But literally, we'll keep doing it. Okay, opponent's pretty surprised here. Okay. Still, moving with the king. Um, I can take with my knight, but let's just not ruin this setup, guys. Like, I literally want to have this position, you know. Okay, check, nice. Which means so far everything's good. Like getting the king to this part of the board sometimes is not easy because it can get under the check, which some sort of opponent's move can restrict this idea. And finally, there we go. The Magnus Carlsen's Gambit is on the board. The rest of the moves can be done automatically. Like from this perspective, I can play whatever I want. But I actually looked some of the Magnus games, he literally played the next moves like that. Like, first of all, bringing the knight there, pushing these pawns, and then bringing the bishop on e2. So he kind of kind of built their nice army around his king. So let me just start first with this knight. So I want to go there. Kind of uh, building the security for the king. Okay, we go knight c2. Now with the same idea, bring the knight to f2. Okay, where it's coming. Just bring the knight like that way. All right, nice move by the opponent, but the problem is that my rook is defended. So he's, yeah, actual painting my rook, but I got the knight there. I don't know if you're seeing that, I'm just gonna pre-move here. And Primov worked out. So then he literally here blundered. He literally blundered at this moment. But well, now we can just push the pawn. And I think this game is over the over. No need to watch the rest. Okay, we got another opponent, and we start this time one more time with the F3. And Probably, yeah, the opponent will get surprised and he's just playing the normal e5 and d5, I believe. Which he made his homework very well because he's controlling now the center and that's a good. Okay, so he's basically stopping my plan and that will sometimes can stop from the what you want to do. Well, I think in this case, I'm just gonna blockade this check because I need to bring the king. Okay, I'll take. All right, I mean, First blunder already, but I don't want to take his bishop because my goal is to make this setup happen. So now probably he realized that his bishop is under attack, he tries to save it. Okay, we bring the king. And now the queen like that. And the king like this. So good news, uh, we made this structure happen and now we left two more things. Like bringing these two knights into the defense. Nice, nice, okay. Let's just bring the knight 
but please don't capture it okay i want to have my knight on f2 okay nice job oh he wants to go for my this knight oh okay let me just go here at least the knight is got getting on c2 even it's get traded yep i knew that mm -hmm. Okay, the next move I'm gonna probably just play knight f2. Yep, exactly. And I'm losing the pawn. But we are making the destructure happen. And eventually, guys, one thing I can tell you that when you will play the Magnus Carlsen's Gambit, it's only you can play for trolling. Because you're seeing when you're playing, uh, you're just gonna get the losing position after the opening. But just you can try it for fun. Just try it for fun. Because right now you can see we are down the two pawns. But I'm expecting the blunder from the opponent here. Uh, trading the rooks is not good when you're down material. So we will skip this idea okay let's go with the king like that attack in the night okay well now i think i can trade the rooks but i will not trade all of them let's just remove it okay Probably offers trade. No, no, he's not doing that. Okay, let's just activate now this knight into the game. Oh, he has a check. We missed that. Fine, no problem. Let's just go on the light square. And he takes my pawn. Okay, let's just see. Check. Which this is just not basically knight sacrifice. If it takes, now I'm winning the knight back. So some sort of like a nice trick here you're using. And we didn't win nothing here, but we ruined his kind of pawn structure at this moment. I think I can just pre move taking the knight here, right? And probably now he offers trade, but I'm sorry. I'm down too much material, so trading is not an option. When you're upon in the time travel, you should make the things complicated, you know, not as simple. Because if I had traded the rooks, it was pretty simple, and I don't have a counterattack, and he can literally remove his next moves. Okay, finally this blunder. And I understand why he's making the blunder at this moment, because he is in the pressure, a lot of, because his time is ticking, ticking, and ticking. And literally, I'm gonna make the next, this sort of removing moves. And he offers a trade and an open loss on time. Well, guys, as you can see what happened here, we made this plan happen, right? Like this sort of thing. But after all, after like trolling the opponent, so the opening was over, we made this happen, like bringing the king and the queen, changing the places. We made this happen, bringing the knights on F2 and C2. But the opening is over, terrible position, and literally just for fun, as I mentioned. Okay, we got here the next opponent, which actually I should have played below 1000 rating, but here by a chance I got 1200 rating. So I think it's no problem. Let's see how 1200 will gonna deal with this sort of gambit. So again, pound pushing. So things that Carlson made this plan to happen, like switching the king and the queen in two ways. Number one, it was just bringing the king like that way, which a little bit takes much more time. And number two, it was by giving the check. It's just giving the check like that way. And then bringing the king, queen, king, and then back like that. So let's just see, will it possibly happen? Unfortunately not. Because there's a bishop d7. And now you can see, guys, all the squares that on the fourth rung are literally being controlled by the black. So, what I will do here, let's just make the plan a little bit uh, easier. Let me just go here, queen c2. 
So I want to make happen like that way with the queen. So let's just play a game with the queen or yeah, let's just go with the queen first. Like queen is chilling around the board for the beginning. Okay, now to queen e3. Yep, in the meantime, now we play king d1 and now we got this. Okay, we don't care about the opponent's threats here. All right, finally, this one happened in nine moves, which, yeah, it took quite a lot of time, but we made it happen. Okay, now the rest we have to play. We played bishop f5. Okay, let me just play knight h3. Kind of building this army again. Okay, I think now I can go to knight f2. E5, all right. Now knight to e3. If we make this plan happen, I mean the rest I can just play on my own. But we have to make it happen. And I think we made it happen. But currently I would say black is completely winning. But we'll see the rest how it's gonna happen. So we take the pawn. Still not ruining this. Probably he takes back since my king is pinned, so yeah, I cannot take back. Well, now we have started to take the thing seriously. King's under attack, let's just push the pawn. Remove the pinning ideas of the opponent. Okay. Well, already there is a huge mistake by the opponent because these ratings, the, this rating. Like a main problem is that they blunder a lot. And that's the main problem. If here I can just be extra piece. So I can take the knight or I can take the bishop. So let's just first take the bishop. It looks nice. And he probably takes my knight. But yeah, there is a little bit of like a problem here might happen. Our king is unsafe. But we'll see what the opponent plays here. Okay, bishop f6, pretty nice trick. So the thing said, I guess if I take king c3, he wants to go e4 check and then win my rook. At the same time, I'm low on time a little bit, so I will play a little bit quickly at this point. Okay, let's just take the pawn. D1. Now the white position is completely winning. 